how do you take an airplane part like this and turn it into something like this? Here's a story about two men who had a dream that just took off. It's called Moto Art. Vintage aircraft parts reborn as functional art for the office and the home. Our portfolio will show you work from anywhere from planes from the 1930s all the way up to like a 747 that we all fly in today. From the V-shaped C-130 conference table to the famed Mile High Bed, Dave Hall and Donovan Fell give retired airplane pieces a second life. Most of what we do are conference tables, reception desks, executive desks. It's most all corporate, business to business. Uh, we have distributors all around the world for us. Their pieces have attracted countless big name clients like Boeing, GE, and Microsoft. When you bring people in the, in, the, in the conference room and here they got this big beautiful wing, it breaks the ice. It really takes the pressure off the meetings. We've heard it time and time again. These business partners met while working at a sign company and started MotoArt in Dave's garage about 10 years ago. It was Donovan's idea of a propeller sculpture that opened the door to the creations that followed. What we do is we take an old uh, World War II propeller and we'll sand and polish it and then we mount it on a propeller hub. This particular piece is off of Corsair um, and it actually has a lot of meaning to us because on the back side of it we've had all of our legends that have come in through our studios actually sign the piece. So we have a lot of great signatures in there from Morgan Freeman to Harrison Ford. Dick Rattan, Bruce McCall. Today, MotoArt has about 20 employees, and its popularity is soaring. But getting the business off the ground a decade ago wasn't so simple. First three years this company, I, I built a shower in our little shop, and then a platform over that, and I lived in there for three years. Yeah. Didn't go out, didn't do anything, I just lived and breathed this. Dave lost his house and his marriage over it. He finally wound up living in there. Then the third guy that worked for us, he lost his house and his wife, and he moved. So here's three of us living in, you know, an 800 square foot dirty shop. But nevertheless, it's all worth it. And it wasn't a lot of believers, um, and uh, but we kept fighting and kept fighting. And what happened was, is it's the, the media got a hold of it. So. Maxim Magazine was the first big editorial that we got, and then Playboy called, and Architectural Digest, and Men's Journal. It was a novel business idea based on their fascination with flight. What little boy doesn't love airplanes? I mean, we've all grown up, you know, flying around the room, and we all have our toy airplanes. I think really, and most of our clients don't fly. It's just that love of aviation. It's a high-flying art that we're doing. When I was a kid, my room had probably a hundred model airplanes hanging in it, you know, and this is sort of my room, except now everything's real. Dave estimates that 60% of the sales come from international clients, and everything is shipped from this workshop. So everything's made in the U.S.? Everything's made, everything's made right here in El Segundo. We have a half of a 747 engine cowling, this is going to the Middle East. Uh, this is getting a, a countertop to it, and it will be like a little reception desk. And a fuselage can serve as an eye-catching picture frame. You can do single window, double window, triple window. What we do is we cut it down, and then we put a rack on the back so you can hang on the wall. But it's a very distinctive look, and we sell a lot of these. A great deal of parts make up a single plane, but the trick has been to use pieces that are recognizable. To anyone, this is probably $10,000 scrap aluminum to Dom and I, it's $3 million in inventory. I mean, that's how we look at it. I mean, we can take any one of these, you know, we can take an old flap like this, by the time we make it into a conference table, this is probably about a $45,000 piece for one of these flaps because the piece, the size, what it is. Each project is a costly one, and some pieces require hundreds of hours of work. Everything's custom fabricated, so a customer tells how long, what color, what finish. And because the pieces are all from limited edition series, they're always coming up with new ideas. This was uh, off of a, a DC-9, Douglas uh, DC-9 aircraft. And then we kind of took a, a turbine fan in the middle, which actually belonged to an F4 Phantom, and made it look like it's part of the jet engine. So this is a nice bar. Yeah, this, uh, we just made this. Uh, this is Donovan, my partner's desk. Um, Donovan loves his libation, so it was only natural that his desk is a bar. And what we've done is taken an aircraft fuselage and we made this the countertop uh, and we lit up all the different windows so it changes lights. And then behind us um, is a new piece we just put up too. This is off of a flying boxcar, which is a Korean War uh, airplane. 
And what's kind of distinctive about this is the C119 flying box cars, it literally looked like a box. So all the fuselage is flat, where typically an airplane is, it has a big radius to it. So it actually made a beautiful wall piece it being flat like that. We're not even sure what plane this came off of, but it was so distinctive looking, this ejection chair. So Donovan saved it for himself and made it his, his own little office chair. Dave and Donovan have settled nicely into Moto Art's spacious new headquarters. And after 10 years of highs and lows, their work still excites them. I've always wanted to become an artist. My father was one, and uh, I never quite knew an artist at what. You know, can't draw, but I can build anything I can imagine, and I can imagine all kinds of things. But I would tell anybody that ever wants to own their own business to at least go for your dream and try it. You, you never know what can happen. I keep thinking, I'm like, how can it be any better than this? You know, I'm like, we're our own boss. We love what we do. Uh, having the opportunity to go out to the boneyards and climb around all these old airplanes. Our clients, some of the biggest celebrities in the world we get to hang out with. Um, it's, it's really been a lot of fun. It's been a, a, an incredible ride. A ride with many more miles to go. For Business Matters, I'm Katherine Chen.